Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean here, and the Cardinals just unveiled their brand new uniforms for the 2023 NFL season, and I'm just going to give my thoughts on them. So I'm just here on Instagram, and okay, so this is a rundown of them, of what they look like, and I'm, I'm going to go to this one on individually. I'm going to give a breakdown of what I think, and... That's pretty much it. The Cardinals just unveiled their new uniforms at 8 p.m. my time, so I'm just going to give a rundown of what my thoughts on them, and I'm just going to see what happens. Okay, so this is an overlook of them. I'll come back to this image, but first, let's start off with their home uniforms. So, uh, okay. Um, okay, so... It looks like the Cardinals added the Arizona on the front right here. So you can see Kyler Murray wearing it right here. And uh, again, I'm just on Instagram, so I'm doing this in one take. I don't feel like editing, besides some adding just a couple of things. Okay, so for their home uniforms, they went with a white helmet with a red jersey, red pants, and red socks. I'm not a fan of monochrome, of when they just use one full color for everything. Like the Color Rush example that I used a while back. I think Color Rush worked for the time. It was a good idea, but a poor execution. But I'm, I'm just going to have to look at this and uh, give my thoughts on it. So, starting off, we've got the embossed lettering, which I think is going to be on the helmet, which I actually do like. Luckily, they didn't change their logo that much, so it's nothing too terrible. So it looks like they made the logo a bit larger and they gave it a nicer color, which I always appreciate. Uh, similar to their black alternate helmets that they unveiled last year, they put some silver flakes in it, but it's you're probably not going to be able to see it on the field because the cameras are so far away. And they have a nice silver face mask instead of the gray one that they used for so long. So... Overall, I kind of like the helmet. I like the little updates they did with it. It would have been cool if they added a stripe down the center, but other than that, that's pretty much the only thing, the only takeaway, pretty much. Uh, okay. There's the state name on the jersey. Like, that's what I was saying. The Arizona instead of the Cardinals, which... It's okay. I mean, the Jets do the same exact thing, and... I don't know. I just kind of prefer it when the team name is on the jersey, or if there's just indication of what that team is it's either the team name or you can see the logos similar to what the chargers and the Bengals did the chargers don't have the name on the top of their chest right here but they do have the bolts so you can still tell that it's the chargers uh state name on the jersey perforated twill numbers with silver outline this is something similar to what the commanders did last year when they unveiled their uniforms but overall i think that it's a pretty decent design. I mean, I kind of like the little dots on the inside. I mean, it's it's not bad. And the silver outline is kind of nice, though. I do I do kind of appreciate that. So they add, they kept the Rays logo on the upper back, which is something I do like. And they put it in all white, which is... I mean, it kind of blends together nicely, but I'm not 100% sure. Protect the nest embroidered on the inner collar, so it's just kind of like a little added bonus for Cardinals fans whenever they buy a jersey. So, um, we'll continue on. Okay, here's the white away jersey. So, you got James Conner right here. So you got white helmet, white jersey, white pants, white socks. Okay, so, let's take a look. Okay, so for these numbers, they actually have perforated twill numbers outlined in black this time so the other ones their standard red uniforms they were white numbers with a silver outline these ones have a black outline going all the way around and on the inside you have bird gang and okay i kind of like that they're doing a couple of different a couple of different i guess ideas or concepts whatever y you get what i'm saying New nameplate, solid red to honor the past. I kind of do like that. Honors the past of like the older days of the Cardinals. Uh, 
It has a nice cardinal right here on the top of the neck. I kind of wish the cardinal stayed the same color on the red jerseys. So you've got the name of the team on the sleeves, and then you have uh, this nice red and silver pant stripe, which I actually do really like, but I'll get into my final, final thoughts in a little bit, and let's see. And there's nothing different with the helmet, it's the same helmet. Larger logo, silver flakes, silver face mask. Okay, here is the black alternate that they unveiled with uh, Hollywood Brown promoting them. Black helmet, black jersey, black pants, black socks. Okay. Um, so they have the red logo on the upper back this time. So they have an all-white cardinal, they have the standard logo cardinal, and now they have the all-red cardinal. These ones are red numbers outlined in silver. So it's a combination of both their away and their home uniforms. Okay. Okay, so on their alternate helmet, it's pretty much the same thing that they had last year that they unveiled. It was the alternate helmet with the red flakes, the black face mask. Made the logo larger, and they have, hit say, Arizona on the back of it. Like, right about here, right where the neckline is. Or maybe that's right here on the top. I'm, I'm not sure. Bird Gang is embroidered on the inner collar. And then similar to the away jersey... Frames, stripes, silver and red on the shoulders and pants. Hmm. Okay. Um, so now we're going to just take a look at them just like this. So here we go. It's a pretty good picture of all of them. So. Um, what are my final thoughts on these uniforms? Honestly, there's a lot that I like, and a lot that I do not like. Now, I used to think that the Cardinals had the worst black alternate uniforms in the NFL. Not like the these color rush ones with the red uniforms, the other ones they had with the white numbers inside. I absolutely hated those uniforms. And... I'm kind of glad they did get rid of those, and they replaced them with this nice alternate color rush color, I guess. But the problems lie with... I mean, I like the stripes on both of them. I mean, let me go back to them. On the away uniforms and on the color rush uniforms, the, uh, the pants stripes. I actually do like these. The red with the silver on the inside. And I do like that they say Cardinals right here on the sleeves. And you can see on their Color Rush uniforms as well, they have the, the same exact design. This one's red and this actually kind of looks more white now that I think about it. But they're saying it's silver, so I'm trusting that. It's not consistent with the red uniforms. I mean, let's, let's take a look at this. You can't... Oh, this isn't really giving me a good picture of that. So, uh, you know what, we're just going to stick with this picture for the rest of this video. So, the way that I see it, how do I put this? I guess I'll just say, what the hell are these? I, I mean, that's really pretty much the only thing I can say. I mean, I kind of like the idea of the Cardinals getting new uniforms, but I didn't really have a problem with them. I mean, sure, they might have streamlined them. They got rid of the black on the red uniforms and on the white uniforms as well. And they at least added some pant stripes that look a little bit better instead of the weird little design that they used to have on all of their uniforms. But I I don't see... This just isn't it. I'm, I'm sorry, Cardinals fans. If you're watching this video, I'm an Eagles fan and... I don't like how inconsistent these uniforms are. I mean, this alone just... I mean, I kind of like that it says Arizona. I'm not a, I'm not upset at that. I'm kind of upset at the fact that they're not consistent throughout the rest of the uniforms. It should be right here and right here. Why is it just on their red jerseys? Also, it kind of looks like the red actually got updated a little bit. It looks like it's a little bit brighter. 
I could be wrong, though. But I really don't see what... Oh my god, I, there's so much I want to talk about, but... You know what, I'll just try to keep this short and sweet. They're not the worst uniforms in history. But I do think that these... Ugh. I mean, I, I don't hate them. I don't hate these uniforms. They kept with tradition with the nice, solid colors. The pant stripes for the red uniforms just aren't working for me. There are no pant stripes. It's just solid red. They're, they look like <laughs> yoga pants. What? Why? This is something I, I, I don't understand. The Jaguars did this. Yeah, the most recent Jaguars uniforms. I like them, but the pants look like... Mm. Not gonna say it. But I don't understand why they would... I wish I could show you a side view of this, because I was watching the YouTube video. I was watching them unveil these uniforms. And the pant stripes that they have on the red uniforms, are they're just solid red. I mean, other than that, th that's something I... I am just hoping that they don't use this as... Th their main, main, main home uniforms. I mean, if they switch, like, red jerseys with white pants, and then every now and then bring out the all red, that's fine. But if you're gonna do that, red jerseys, white pants, red socks, because it bothers the hell out of me when uniforms... Where, yeah, sorry, excuse me. When teams do this. The Eagles did this in the Super Bowl. They had their green jerseys with their white pants, and they also had white socks. I think it looks ugly as hell. The Jaguars recently started doing that. They had their teal jerseys white and white. Why don't teams wear con non con Ugh. Are they contrasting? Contrasting socks, but personally I think that the Cardinals should stick with the this red as their main one, white as their main pants as well and then use the red Ugh. red pants as an alternate. Don't do this. This all red, monochrome does not look good. It works for alternate uniforms because they don't wear them as often. And it can work for away uniforms. Like this. This looks fine. Something else I'm not a fan of is they got rid of the red on the top of the shoulders. Like this first part of the shoulders, they used to be red. But now they're just all white and all I'm seeing are the 49ers alternate white uniforms. I mean, overall... I'm sorry, Cardinals fans, but... I, I mean, they're not the worst uniforms ever. I've seen way worse uniforms. They're keeping with tradition, which I like. I mean, they look like classic, modern renditions of block numbers. The ones look a little different, but this six looks like a classic block number. The twos and the fives, these look fine. The helmets, I like that they made the logo larger. I wish they added a red stripe on the helmets. The black, they could have been, it would have been fine. They're fine just like that. But their normal helmets, I just wish they had a white, I'm sorry, a red stripe. I mean, sure, not every NFL uniform needs a stripe through the helmet. I mean, the Eagles don't have one. Patriots don't have a stripe in their helmet. But overall... Ugh. I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10... I think that's good enough right here. I think these are honestly 6 out of 10 uniforms. I think these could have been way better... Overall, it's just too... It's too much, but at the same time, it's not enough. But, overall, I hope you enjoy the new uniforms for the Arizona Cardinals, or should I call them the Arizona Buckeyes. That's what I saw. Someone someone in one of the comments called them the 
Arizona Buckeyes, which I thought was funny. So anyway, that's just my thoughts on this, and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But as of right now, this is Sean Arguello saying goodbye for now, but not forever. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.